Hello there guys, Feng here, and welcome to another Brick in the Mall. Alright then, so another Brick in the Mall is a uh, shopping centre simulation. You get to build your own kind of a shopping complex. You can make stuff like, well, general stores, electrical stores, clothing stores, restaurants, bowling alleys, etc, etc. Uh, it's currently in early access, so please bear in mind there might be some bugs and glitches even there, and also not all the content is in yet, so please bear that in mind. It was only only got released a few days back, and I've been playing been playing around with it since then. Uh, options menu, you know, everyone loves the options menu, as you can see. Um, just some general stuff in the video. Sound is... Uh, there's no music in the game. Yeah, there's just sounds at the moment, so we've got the sounds. Max pathfinding threads, I have no idea what that does. No other time lapse mode, so we'll leave it as they are. Alrighty then, so let's start a new game. So I've already done the tutorial, so I'm going to start with about the tutorial. Uh, we'll start with 200,000, that's the base. You can also start off with 50 grand and all unlimited funds for the, for the sandbox experience. You can also have normal research. Uh, there is research in the game, so if you want to uh, make certain things, you have to research it first, or if you want to sell certain things. Uh, you can also play straight away with them all unlocked. I'm going to go ahead and stick with normal. Also, builders, you can have normal builders which build normal rate, or fast builders which build fast. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Alright, let's start. Okie dokie then, so let's just quickly pause and welcome to the screen. Uh, one of the things you'll probably recognise uh, straight away is that it's a very similar art style to games such as RimWorld and D -d 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 Prison Architect. That's a good thing because I actually really like that uh, graphic style. And it makes the game feel, you know, feel nice and simple. Alright then, so, uh, we best start on making a, a store, aren't we? Yeah. So, the first thing we check is just our research, as you can see. We need to research the basics first before we can do any type of research. So, we've got access to just some basic things um, to begin with. So, what we need to do is we need to start building foundations. So, uh, currently, as you can see, we currently have this little building. This is the... Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, it's the maintenance center. Here as well, your builders will stay, and also your um, janitors as well if they're not doing anything, etc. etc. Let's go ahead and build some foundations. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building some foundations right here. Uh, before I do that, actually, I'm going to go ahead and actually just see if I can get this right. So, if I go ahead and stick a loading zone there. Uh, we're going to need those in a bit, and I'll tell you why. Let's start off with foundations. So, using that as a guide, I'm going to go ahead and start making some foundations. As you can see, cost money for foundations, but we do need uh, something fairly big. So, I'm going to go ahead and make it fairly long. It doesn't have to be too wide, but having it nice and long is rather beneficial. And you'll soon see why. Uh, there's also, that, that's a little bit of a bug, but we'll sort that out in a bit. So, as you can see, our builder is now starting to work. We actually have three builders. However, they come in at different times. So, uh, if we go to manage, you can see we've got our maintenance center here. Uh, if we go to staff, we can see we've got three builders. So, uh, employees work, I think it's, a, I think it's like an eight hour shift. Uh, when they come in. So as you can see this particular one, um, Catherine Maynard starts at 7 o'clock, uh, Erin Powell starts at uh, 3 o'clock and Leo Cruz starts at 11 o'clock. So it basically covers throughout the whole day and it's really handy having it like that as well because it means you can basically not have to worry about stuff not being built during the night and whatnot. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you can also handle staff the same way, you know, um, store staff and whatnot. So this might take a wee bit of a while because it is quite a big foundation. Uh, there's our set there's our second builder coming in a little bit early, but that's fine. And as you'll see the other workers now gone on because it's the end of their shift. So I'm just gonna very quickly stick a quick pause here while the uh, the game is fast forwarding and we'll be back very shortly once the foundation is complete. Oh yeah, interesting fact, um, F10 is my uh, video capture pause button, 
it's also the hide UI button. Oops. <laughs> so, I mean, as you can see, it's actually, I think it's already like day, yeah, it's day three already. So it's took two days to make this foundation. In the tutorial, they, uh, the tutorial does try and get you to make a much smaller foundation. I think about like the third of the size of this particular one. But because I already know what's coming up and whatnot, I decided to make it a bit bigger. And we can afford to, you know, we've still got plenty of money, even though we're not making up the mark at the moment. We are bleeding money because we have to pay for the salaries of our builders. But we've, all we've got is bills at the moment, so it's not really costing us that much at all. And the foundation is completed. Yay, we did it. All right, let's start building some stuff. So we need to go to uh, walls. Actually, no, let's go to objects. So the first thing we're going to need to do is a staff door. So what we need to make is we need to make a, a stockpile room. Need to make sure that you know we can get the stock that the store needs to restock stuff. Makes sense, yeah. So with this la with this landing um, landing, I'm a dumbass. I meant loading. So with this loading um, park in here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plonk a staff door there. We also need a double door um, so that people can actually get in. Otherwise, you know, um, customers aren't going to get in. They're not going to buy anything. So we're gonna make we're gonna plunk that there like so. So what we need to do now is we need to um, make a wall to make sure we've section off that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building a wall here. It doesn't have to be too big. Uh, I think this is probably big enough. This might even be a little bit too big, but I think we'll be okay with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We also need to make sure that we've got another staff door there, so only staff can get in through there. And there we go. Alrighty then. So we're going to let that build, like so. Next thing we're going to need is we're going to need some uh, shelves and some uh, checkout counters and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting a few checkout counters. So to start off with, we're going to have... Uh, do, 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 do. Well, I want to expand that. Hang on a sec. Uh, I can expand it that way, so that's not a big deal. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start uh, putting three checkouts down. So as you saw there, you can see <coughs> that the actual checkout itself doesn't take up much room. But the blue line, that shows you where the queue is going to be. So if you've got anything blocking that, then customers won't queue up. So please bear that in mind. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, put some shelves down so that people can actually, you know, buy stuff. Uh, they'll pick stuff out and they'll buy winningly. So what we're going to do is I'm probably going to start it... Uh, I'm not going to start it there because we might want to expand this uh, storeroom. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start it probably down here. Like so. So we're going to have a few uh, food shelves. I'm going to keep that space unoccupied. So <clears throat> we'll let that build. And what we can do with these is we can set a um, product. So if we uh, right click if we right click if we right click oh yeah we need to assign the zone first for fuck's sake my fault so what we do is we go to assign we go to store and we need to assign all this as the store so there we go this is all store one we also need to assign this as storage like so and that's storage number two so it does number um it does number each individual thing depending on what it is and how big it is and whatnot then what we're going to do is now we're going to right click and we're going to set product for, for the food shelf. So as you can see we can we can start off with beverages and food. So I think what I'm going to do is instead of going for beverages here because you can build a fridge as well. And they can hold soda, bottled water and juice as well. We're just going to concentrate on just the food. So let's start off with candies, uh, canned food, and as you and as you can see, once they are selected, it'll say it'll show you how much you have in this particular store. So as you can see, we've already got one shelf of candies and one shelf of canned food. Now, of course, that's not going to be that's not actually going to be uh, done yet because we haven't got anyone to actually you know stop the shelves. That's a bit silly, me, wasn't it? So why don't we go ahead and do that? So what we're gonna do is we can do, 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 go to the store 
and we can hire a cashier and hire a store clerk. So what we're going to do is we're going to hire uh, four cashiers. We're going to have um, a cashier doing the mo two cashiers doing morning shifts and two cashiers doing afternoon shifts. So as you can see, uh, these are the, cash the cashier job interview. You'll have a, it's it's random free that you can pick. And each one has uh, particular stats. So the main the main stats really are these three: uh, speed, patience, and sociability. Uh, depending on what kind of uh, job it is. So for the cashier, having um, speed and sociability is probably decent, as well as somewhat uh, patience. So what we're going to do is, uh, do, do, do. I think we'll go with Don for the first lot. I'm going to go ahead and hire. Another three. Let's go with Carol. And do, 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 do. God, these ones aren't very good at all. Let's go with Penny. And oh, and that one's actually is actually a really. Uh, she's a very good cashier already. So I think we'll go with you. Okay, so we've got four cashiers. So what we want to try and do is we want to try and line up uh, their work shifts with the opening times so what we're going to do first of all is make sure that we have a closing time of about 10 and open hour of about 8 that sounds about right so what we're going to do for the first two cashiers we're going to go ahead and move them across like so there we go now we actually do want them to come in just that little bit early just in case that there are traffic jams which can happen but I think that's about right actually if we go for seven yeah it seems about right okay okay so now we've done that uh, we'll go ahead and set these for about one o'clock or three o'clock three o'clock should do I think and there we go so one thing you'll notice is this um, this graph here so what this shows you this shows you how much workforce you have um, during that particular time so I mean as you can see we've actually got plenty of workforce uh, until around about uh, 12 o'clock so in fact if we really want to do we can actually push the uh, time till about 4 o'clock and there you have it so I think what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and I uh, uh, two stock clerks so we're gonna have a stock clerk for the morning shift and a stock clerk for the afternoon shift all right so let's have a look do 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 uh, you're semi decent. They don't really need to be very sociable, stock clerks don't, so it's not really too bad of an idea. Uh, as long as we can get the speed and the patience up, I guess that's fine. Uh, and we'll go with you as well. There we go. So you're going to come in at 7. Do, 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 do. And you're going to come in at 3. There we go. Fantastic. So even though I, do, I, I don't actually need that extra uh, counter yet, and in fact, having that there does cost you money. There is a maintenance cost for each object, so please bear that in mind. So, you know, if you have too many objects around, it's going to eat up your, um, your profits. So bear that in mind. However, we still need to build some more shelves. That's something we haven't done yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and play it at normal speed. Uh, also, we don't have many... We don't have any parking yet or anything, but we'll sort that out in a bit. Don't worry, we will sort that out in a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, build a few more of these. There we go. So let's just speed that up a bit. Alright then, so we're going to have snacks, cookies, and sliced bread. Uh, so, okay, well, there's four more things we can get. The idea behind this is that... Um, Trying to stock as many different items is not only good for uh, attracting more customers, because uh, customers have different needs depending on what they want, but you also get kind of challenges. Uh, as you can see, if we get, if we hover over the objectives, the first one is open a business. We haven't quite opened it yet because I haven't actually selected the um, the store to use a certain storage, which I shall now do. So if we go ahead and click on store, we go up to zone, and we're going to assign this particular storage there, and that will use that storage. And now this store is considered a proper store. Also, we've just finished the research basics. Uh, we are, yeah, that's fine. Cold chain is fine. Because what we can do now is we can go ahead and start making some fridges. Do, 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 do. So there we go. 
as you can see we had the delivery trucks come in and they drop off the uh, stock thankfully the stock isn't exact so as long as long as there's a, a crate in the stock room it doesn't matter what um, product it is it will restock it anyway so that's uh, kind of neat we're gonna have soda bottled water and juice make sure it's nice and chilled for everyone all right we still need a few more shelves let's go ahead and build uh, three and four there we go now we also need to think about parking parking is a major thing with uh, retail parks and stuff like that so what we need to do is we need to actually start thinking about making uh, do, 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 do some customer parking so for that we need to start building a few more roads so I'm going to go ahead and build a few roads this way I'm also going to go ahead and build a few roads this way like so there we go now you can't build at the end here so that's something to bear in mind the edge of the map is you can't build anything at all so we're going to leave that there I'm also going to go ahead and start building a road over here so I'm going to let that build there we go now I can only more build just to get this done quickly but the problem is um, they're already going to have quite a lot of idle time as it is so I don't really want to be uh, paying out more than what's needed so we're going to leave that as it is apparently one of our yeah so, so for some reason these have started early they shouldn't have started today at all but uh, they'll start the next day the other employees will hopefully so what we're going to do is we're going to start building some custom car park no we're not we're going to build a another loading zone there then we're going to have some staff only parking here this is this will only be used by staff so it's uh, worthwhile getting it close to the close to the shopping to shop into the store and then we'll concentrate on giving some customer parking which we can already do right there I'm also going to go ahead and put two lots of staff parking here for the builders and the janitors once we hire them and we're going to need a garbage pickup as well eventually uh, once we get stuff like fresh um, bread and once we start getting stuff like restaurants we will start getting a lot of trash and janitors will go ahead and stick it in the garbage pickup uh, heap. I don't know how often the garbage man comes, but it seems common enough to not really worry too much about it. So there we go. And we still need more custom, custom parking. We've only got enough space for four at the moment. There we go. So our, our st store clerk is busy getting the shelves, and we are now seeing some customers. Not a lot, of course, because, well, we need that customer parking, but at least the builder's now starting to sort that out. As you can see, there's a lot of missed sales opportunity because of the parking. Silly, silly thing. Oh, well. Here we go. So we've now got eight parking spaces. Do, 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 do. Ten parking spaces. There we go. It's getting there. Already quite the popular store, eh? <laughs> Alrighty then. And as you can see, they'll line up. They'll, what they'll do is they'll look for one thing that they need, and then they'll go to the checkout and then cash it out. It's a bit weird if it does that. Um, you know, normally when people shop, they do get more than one item, but for some reason, the game only simulates them buying one item, which is a bit weird. But yeah, it's fine. <laughs> And the store clerk's just waiting until these are being built so that you can put some other stuff on them. Uh, we're not making any profit as of yet. Probably because of the fact that we didn't have any bloody parking. But we will we will start making some profit soon, don't we guys? We will start making profit soon. We just need to wait for some of this parking to be built. Uh, do, 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 and I think what we'll do now is... Do, 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 do. So if that's going to be there, so we'll load... So we're going to want probably a road there, like so. So this is going to be basically one big uh, parking lot. Customer parking. There we go. Fantastic. There not seem to be many customers. Oh, there we go. We've actually got one customer really late at night. There we go. You can actually open 24 hours as well, although you do need the research for that, which is pretty cool. But we're not really seeing many customers yet. 
because you know our store is still only you know not not really well known yet as you attract more customers there'll be there'll be a lot more they'll come a lot more daily and you know it's all good stuff all good stuff uh, each customer also has a, a satisfaction rate now as you can see the average customer satisfaction is 20 232,714 I have a feeling that that might be a little bit of a bug <laughs> for some reason but yeah basically as for for the most part as long as customers don't have to wait in queues then their satisfaction will be you know pretty decent as you get later into the game though you'll find that they'll want stuff like restrooms and some places to eat and relax and stuff so yeah you will have to uh, you know accompany that yep parking is not is getting used quite a lot not not really surprising uh, the cars are not going to be able to get over to here though, so we need to wait until this road is built. Yeah, the parking spaces have to be built alongside roads. Can't be built alongside other car parking spaces, which is a bit odd. But yeah, I can understand why. Otherwise, otherwise the cars are not going to be able to uh, actually get onto the space itself. So it's understandable. No, unless they want to uh, go over the grass, which is not very advised. So once she's done this road, we'll go ahead and stick all this as parking. And we'll try and join up these roads somehow. I'm not too sure I'm gonna do that yet. But we are gonna need a we're not gonna we don't need a janitor just yet still, because um there's there's no dirt or anything around, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and restock these there we go right some pasta coffee and tea and pet food now we can also build do, 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 uh, normal shelves and as you can see if you hover over the particular uh, object it does tell you what you can stick on them so we can stick diapers toilet paper car tools toys uh, cookware and dishes and pads and tampons and bed sheets there so you know we can still do quite a lot with this so let's go ahead and make a few shelves like so I think that should be enough and while we're at it let's continue making customer parking there we go so that's going to give us a nice big boost there alright let's manage items so we need diapers toilet paper pads and tampons light bulbs shit bed sheets cookware dishes and ooh, and car tools now what I, like, what I like to do is I like to keep an eye on the queues if people start complaining about queues then that's usually a sign to hire uh, another cashier another two cashiers one for the morning and one for the afternoon shift uh, but also, if the stock clerk can't keep up with stocking the shelves, then that's usually a sign for another pair of um, another set of stock, uh, store clerks as well. <coughs> so yeah, and that uh, yeah is Apple building fantastic. We're getting there. We are getting there. What we got? What do we need to do? So we need to, we need to sell twenty different types. But we'll actually do that now, basically, because we still uh, need a few more shelves let's go ahead and do that I think it was three more wasn't it was it three more I might be wrong oh shit I don't think it was even three more no it wasn't oopsie thank you silly I mean don't get me wrong you can you can go ahead and you know assign more than one but I don't see the point because to attract customers you want to avoid your products anyway I know, I know you can think about supply and demand and stuff and think, well, if I'm selling two lots of, say for example, uh, two lots of soda because people really want the soda, then yeah. Oh, shit. Actually, we can... Did we just research the cold chain? We did. So we actually need uh, four fridges now. Alrighty then. So I'm going to go ahead, one, two. And I'm going to go ahead and remove these shelves for the time being. And we'll replace those 
with fridges. There we go. So let's go ahead and set these. Now the research uh, does automatically pick the next thing if you don't assign uh, something to something to it, but you can assign uh, different researches if you want. So uh, at the moment it's doing the alcohol license. Uh, let's go ahead and change it to. Actually, no. Uh, I'm just looking for stuff that will give us more thingies. More thingies. Don't need restrooms just yet. We don't need a restaurant just yet either. No road wet networks or anything like that. Uh, yeah, let's continue with the Alki Hall license then. That's going to take two days. And as you can see, we are now getting queues. This is because uh, we're getting more well known, and as you can see, the parking spaces are now getting used. So, with that in mind, what we might want to start doing is probably, well, for one, start giving a bit more parking space would be a good idea. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to. No, yeah, I'm going to do that. We'll get those there. I might as well stick two more customer parkings there, even though they're not quite. There. You never need to make this uh, building bigger, although you probably want to make maybe a second building once you get a bit further into the map, or a third one just to, you know, just for uh, the builders to get to places a bit easier. Until then, though, I'm just going to go ahead and plop these here. Yeah, people are complaining about queues. 20 occurrences. Yeah, that, that's usually a good sign to um, think about. Hiring another set of cashiers. All right, let's have a look. Okay, you're actually fairly decent. Let's go with you, and wow, all right, you as well. All right, I always forget what starting episode so, uh, seven and three. So seven and three. And there we go. They won't come in until yeah, tomorrow. Well, sometimes they do come in a bit uh, earlier. Sometimes, as you can see, they have actually come in a bit earlier, so that's fine. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. If there's still queues tomorrow, then we may want to make another set of uh, cashiers. And make a few more counters, checkout counters. Did I really not put enough cost Christmas car park in there? Silly of me. So that's meeting up there. This is gonna. This is a bit. Awkward, I guess, doing that there. It's not going to look right. Oh well. Uh, I'm sorry if you have OCD, but <laughs> nothing I'm going to do about that at the moment. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and build uh, a road connecting to this bit a little bit, and I think we'll have another set of uh, parking right here. Actually, what we, hmm, I don't know. Maybe we could just build onto here, like so. This is probably not very efficient at all, but yeah. <laughs> hey, turn a daily profit over to grand. Fantastic. Let's have a look. I do love these graphs and stuff. It, it, at least the game actually tells you clearly, you know, what the profit margins and stuff are. The one thing that the the one thing that I would really like though is if you because you can pick a, a separate product and you can see. Uh, the fullness and stuff and the profit margin. It would be nice if you could see how much you actually sold on that particular day of that particular item. So if you do want to go the way of, you know, putting down multiple of the same product, then, you know, trying to sell it like that, that would be really cool. But it doesn't, the game doesn't tell you, unfortunately, so, yeah. You can set the manual margin as well, which is kind of cool. But I'll keep it auto since it's uh, since it seems pretty good on the auto setting. Uh, what else? Those? Oh god, I'm having I'm having I'm having a bit of a cuckoo moment. I was gonna I was gonna mention something else and now I forgot because I'm a dumbass. Uh, what else was it? Oh yeah, you know what's nice? The game runs at 600 frames a second. <laughs> I just thought I might want to, I just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. What's next? Well we can't really make anything else yet because we haven't we haven't researched it. But once we've got the alkey hole, 
Uh, we should start getting more. Yeah, we're getting queues still with this many, so I think it might be time to go ahead and start building some more uh, counters. Let's go ahead and build two more for the time being. There we go. Do, 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 do. Right. So, f uh, actually saying that, we haven't actually had a complaint about it. About, about about it yet? Oh, but we are get. We see, look, uh, there's actually some footprints now, so it, the story is starting to get a little bit mucky. So now we want to start thinking about hiring a janitor or two. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off with two janitors for the time being. Bloody hell, this is really bad. All right. So you start work at seven, and we'll have another janitor who will start. This is terrible. Can I can I actually just re No I can't. For God's sake. <sighs> Apparently these are good janitors, but they're they're not very good at all. Jesus. Alright, let's go with Sophie instead. I will make sure that you cover that particular side of things. There we go, that's fine. Alright, so two janitors should be enough for the time being. Just to uh, wipe the floor. Of course, they're not going to come until tomorrow. Because that's the way the game works. So, yeah. We'll leave that as is. The parking's going used. I don't think we need any more parking spaces as of yet. You, you can actually hover over the parking use and you can see what the max was. The, ma the maximum we had was 41. Hmm. Alrighty then. Uh, apparently, pe more people. Yeah, everyone's just left. That's fine. That's fine. Okie dokie. Do we want. Um, do we actually want another. I think we do. I think we're going to want another pair of cashiers just to be on the safe side there. So you're a cashier. You can start at 7. Uh, ooh. Okay, you're a cashier as well. And you can start at. There we go, fantastic. And we'll keep that going for a bit. Let's check our research. Okay, so the alcohol license is nearly done. Alright, and guys, I'm going to stick a cut in here and I'll see you next time.